Hello students and parents, welcome to Career 316. Today we are going to discuss all the engineering colleges that accept students through the JOSA counseling. But there is one big caveat you must know. We are right now talking about the minimum and maximum cutoff marks for engineering colleges taking admission through the JOSA counseling, which means through the JE main score, right? But the exception is we've already done two videos for you. One which was dealing with only NITs, the National Institute of Technologies. And the other one we did was all the triple IITs. So if you have not watched these two videos, please watch the NIT admissions criteria, the minimum and maximum marks and all the NITs that are there in the country with the cutoffs at a NIT level and at a branch level in this particular video. And similarly, we've done a similar exercise for the triple IITs also. You'll have all the triple IITs, the placement data, the kind of cutoffs that you need to have to get into any of the triple IITs. We've done that for NITs and triple IITs. Please watch them. But this particular video is about all the other colleges besides NITs and triple IITs which accept the JE uh, main score and accept admissions through the JOSA counseling. Why do we do that? Because it's very, very credible, the JOSA counseling process, and you exactly know what you must get to be a part of any college, right? So what we've done is today, we're talking of all the Indian colleges started, you know, as sorted by the career rating, by the way. But most importantly, accepting, uh, you know, going through the admission process through the JOSA counseling. The first of the institute here is BIS Mesra which is called the Billa Institute of Technology in Mesra, which is ranked 4A+, plus, right? The NRF ranking, which is the Government of India ranking, is 48. They place 76% of its students at 10.57 lakh rupees, or 10.58 lakhs. So, this is the highest in, in, in the process that you have, but this is very, very good in terms of the kind of placement that happens at Bits Mesra. Then you have University of Hyderabad, which is 4A for uh, ranking. NRF ranking is 70th best. They place 100% of its students at 6.2 lakh rupees. Then you have Sant Longowal Institute of Engineering and Technology, Longowal, which is in Punjab. 4A is what we rated. NRF ranking is 76. They place 70% of its students at 4 lakh rupees. Then you have NIFTEM, which is based in Tanjavur. By the way, there are a few other NIFTEMs also. Ranked 4A. Right? But this is in food technology entrepreneurship. Remember this? So this is a very specialized institution. It's food technology. Right. The rank is 101 to 150 in the Government of India ranking, NRF. 100% students placed at 4 lakh rupees. Then you have the NIAM, NIAMT, what you call in Ranchi, right? It is called the National Institute of Advanced Manufacturing Technology. It's again a specialized institution, ranked 4A plus by Career 360, right? Ranked 151 to 200 in the uh, NRF ranking. Remember, some of these NRF rankings, they are slightly unfair to very specialized institutions because NRF ranking favor a broad level multidisciplinary institutions. So this being a specialized institution, in my opinion, has been unfairly treated. But the rankings between 150 and 200%, 100% of its students were placed at 8.8 .8 lakh rupees salary. Right? This way we're listing out 20 of those institutions. Then you have Srimata Vaishwadavi University in Katra, which is in Jammu. Then you have uh, Northeastern Regional Institute of Science and Technology in Nirgiri. And then you have another NIFTAM in Sonipat, rank 4A, rank 151 to 200, 19% students placed at 7 lakh rupees. It's a decent institute here. Then you have International Institute of Information Technology in Bhuvaneshwar. This is a very, very good institution, right? 4A is the rating. Two uh, the ranking is 2 lakh, one to but if you look at this now, the median salary is 10 lakh rupees, 86% students placed. So you very clearly know that this is a decent institution that's going ahead, right? And then you have uh, Many other, one in Ahmedabad, one in Puducherry. This one is also very, very good. The Puducherry Technology University, uh, ranked 4A by Career 60, ranked between 201 to 300 by NRF. The 99% of its got, students got placed at 6 lakh rupees. All this data is there. You can keep looking at this as you move along. I don't want to keep repeating the data because you can actually act, see that as you move along, right? Then you have the next one is Central University. Uh, Mahindragarh, JNU Delhi, they also offer a BTEC by the way, these days. Uh, Gurukul Kangri, Vishwadhyaya, Haridwar, and then one in Silchar, one in Bilaspur, Kokrajar, Bhilai, Aizwal, and Jammu. And we also given the rating. So the last three, we don't could not give rating because we don't have data. But we'll include that in this particular list because they actually accept admissions through the JOSA counseling process. 
right and for the other ones also because if we don't they did not participate in the nrf ranking we don't have the placement data what we're showing as placement data is what is officially available with the regulator or with the government agency right these are top 20 institutions that at this point in time are taking admissions through the josa consulate now let me take you through what is the kind of cut off you require and the cut off also indicates the quality of the institution or the quality of the intake or the quality of the students that study at these institutions right so when you look at that let's start with bits misra right here the cut off rank for btech and cse is 16346 right when you say 16346 we are dealing with a 98.8 percentile because about 15 lakh students took the examination right at 1500 rank uh, 15000 rank it is 99 percentile is 99 percentile now this at 16346 the, the percentile you need to have is about 98.8 percentile to be part of bits misra for the cse branch but if you still want to study in any branch of bits misra then you're dealing with 59904 which essentially if you work, just work backwards we're dealing with about 96 percentile 96 percentile right then you have university of hyderabad with 28505 for btec and mtec csc right now 28000 if you again work backwards you're dealing with 98 percentile right then you have the sant longol institute which is at 50718 which again would be dealing with about 96 percentile like then you have nitrim at 71105 and then you have national institute of advanced manufacturing technology which is a specialized institution remember at 42000 which would be about 97 percentile right now you go to the next level right these are the top five that i talked of and you have the salary and placement details in the earlier slide that you have seen right then you have um, mata vaishno devi where the for csc branch the uh, closing rank is 51747 which essentially converts to 96.5 percentile right then you have any other uh, and you actually have this cut offs you, you can actually see that here is 77000 for nift uh, niptem sonipat you have this one is very good at earlier remember i told you that international institute of information technology is very very good look at this cut off here 9913 is a closing rank not even the opening and closing rank when you deal with 9913 you are essentially dealing with about 99.4 percentile right 99.4 percentile that's the kind of strength that this institution has that the closing rank for btech csc is 9913 just imagine what the opening rank would be and you also see in the kind of placement they have a 10 lakh median salary and 100% placement right then you have the uh, you know uh, the one in amdavad the 30590 you have puducherry i also told you about puducherry is because it's also a local institution the you know the cut off is 41122 for computer sciences but 41000 which converts to about 97.97.8% right what i'm talking about is every approximate i'm assuming that 15 lakh students took the examination by the way so that's a base on which i'm talking about these things the percentile might change a few decimal points here or there then you have the next bunch of things uh, you know ptu in puducherry 41122 is the closing rank for csc central university haryana mahendragarh at 46000 uh, jawar jnu delhi is 22669 which essentially means If you want to look at it, it's less than 98 percent, about 98 percent, right? That's the kind of number that, in fact, 97, 98.5 percent is the kind of a number. Because 15,000 rank is 99 percent, right? So we're dealing with 98.5 percent for JNU, right? Then you have uh, this, uh, the one in Haridwar with 58,000. You have uh, the one in Silchar at 41,000, which is about 97 percent, right? So all these institutions, if you notice. that we're dealing with a 90 97 percentile and above kind of a you know score that you need to have to be a part of any of these institutions which itself proves how good they are don't just look at the median salary the fee would be very very low here it is very much more affordable much more accessible this possibly you know favors the local students out there but the percentage cut off when you see them you really realize that you know these institutions are very very good especially for the branches that you're looking for then you have the school of studies of engineering and technology in in bilaspur 
50,965 closing rank. But if you want to still study there, industrial production is 1,10,000. Right. The Central Institute of Technology, Kokrajar, at 45,771. But food engineering and technology is 80,000. Right. The Chhattisgarh Swami Bhilwajan Technical University, Bhilai, 52,000. 57,000. So what we've done here is essentially, you know, listed out all the colleges that the 20 colleges, there are about 50, 60 of them, which actually go through the JUSA counseling and you should look at them very closely while you're looking at. Obviously, if you get into one of the IITs, nothing like it. If you get into NITs, nothing like it. If you get into triple IITs, nothing like it. But when you actually create a plan for yourself, you also need to create a plan of saying, if I have to get 95 percentile, 96 percentile, what exactly happens and what are the options that you have and which is the data that we're showing at this point in time. Now, we also have a product called J Main College Predictor. It is called the J Main 2025 College Predictor. It, it exactly gives you based on your rank and your score. If you just input your rank or your percentile also, it tells you what is the kind of rank you'll get and based on the rank, what college will get you admission and if you also filter it down to the branch that you want to study, it tells you what college will get you admission. So it tells you, you know, chances based on your J main rank, home state, caste and gender. It also includes premium institutes like all the NITs, all the IIITs and all the CFTIs. Many states institutes accept admission through J main, right? So that's one thing that you have. My suggestion is please go to the Career 360 website and start looking at this college predictor because this will lead you to exactly understand what your score, what your percentile, what your rank will get into which college in which branch. You can also reverse do the whole thing by saying I want to study in this branch only and which college will get me admission based on my rank. Or you can do the other way of saying that I want to study only in this college, which branch would I get based on the kind of score or rank or percentile that I have. Please use them. This has been created only for you. It's right now free. Once the exam results come, it will become a paid product. So this is your opportunity to use that to understand where you stand. I hope this helps you. If you have any more queries, please write to us in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to take it up in the next video. Thank you so much. Namaskar.